Hey everybody, welcome to Vacuum Wars. This week I decided to try out a new brand of cordless vacuums called Onsen. I bought all four of their main models and put them through a lot of tests over the week. My goal was to see if this brand was worth recommending, and if so, which one was the best. So links in the description to everything I'll mention, and let's get started. In order of price, we have the EV696, the EV696 Pro, the EV696 Max, and the A10 Pro, though even their most expensive model, the A10 Pro, I would consider in the budget vacuum category. The three EV models are very similar to one another, with a more streamlined and lightweight design, where the A10 is in the more traditional style. Starting off with the Pros, all four of them were really good with hard floor pickup, especially with larger debris. These do good because of the very unique way their floor head cover is open at the front. This is true of the three EV series models, but even the A10, which has a different head design, also did very good with large debris on both hard floors and carpet. This is a great feature, but it has its drawbacks as we'll see when we get to the con section later on. Their power was pretty good for the price. We test their suction and and airflow at different places and in different settings and found that the EV696 Pro and Max were pretty much tied for first with the EV696 and A10 behind them. I tested their battery life in multiple settings with the cleaner head attached and found that Onsen's official battery life range numbers seem to be more or less accurate depending on if you are in low or high power. Some of them have a low, medium, and high power setting. Some of them just had a low and a high power, which you could toggle by a button on the back, or in the case of the EV696 Max, it has a screen with power buttons as well as a real-time battery life number display. The way they had their power distributed between the power settings is kind of important. If you chose the optimal setting for each vacuum, medium power in most cases, or low or high power in others, you would get between 20 and 30 minutes of actual vacuuming time per charge. Though I should point out that the A10 really doesn't have an optimal setting. Its low power setting was too low to be effective in my opinion, and its high power was effective, but it was really high, and it shortened the battery life to only 13 minutes per charge. Another pro was their ability to pick up hair without it getting too tangled in the brush roll. They all passed the one gram of seven inch human hair test with no tangles, which is not common with budget vacuums, and they all got decent scores with the 14 inch hair test, though the A10 roller seemed to be just a little bit better at resisting longer tangles than the EV series. Another big pro for me was the weight. The three EV696s were about the same with a two pound 13 ounce handle weight, which is extremely light, and it really did make a difference. The A10 was only about nine ounces heavier, which is more typical in terms of weight. Not heavy, but not particularly particularly light either. I liked that they all had nice bright LED lights on the floor head and that they all had fairly big dust bins, though the A10's bin was slightly bigger than the others, and that they were all fairly quiet comparatively speaking. I liked that they all had a one-touch trigger design so you don't have to hold the trigger down to keep the vacuum on. The final pro is the price. These Onsen cordless vacuums are really inexpensive, and despite some of the bad things I'm about to say, they are still impressive vacuums at that price. Moving on to the cons. They were not good with carpets. And I guess I should say that they were not good at deep cleaning carpets because they were actually pretty good at picking up debris on the surface of carpet. But remember that open floor head design, which was great for large debris? The flip side of that is that there's no real seal on the floors with such an open design. And we saw this show up in certain key tests. For example, on the carpet deep clean test, where they are trying to clean deep down embedded sand and carpet, they all did very poorly, scoring in the 70s and low 80s, which is bad even for budget cordless vacuums, where I typically would expect to see scores in the low 90s at least. With the unsealed suction test, which ironically helps to judge the seal of a floor head design, it wasn't a surprise to see that the three with the open head design had the lowest scores I had seen yet, with the A10 doing only slightly better at this test. This isn't a deal breaker though. If you're using them for hard floors or for rugs that you aren't necessarily trying to deep clean, it can work great. But if you have mostly carpets in your home, you probably won't want any of these vacuums. They all came with a very simple attachment set, one combination upholstery tool slash dusting brush for the EV series, or two standard tools on the A10. They also all came with some kind of wall mount, but in general, I would say that the attachment set for all four was a negative. Another con was the filtration. I know it's not exactly fair to pick on budget vacuums 
vacuums with bad filtration, because most, if not all, budget vacuums have bad filtration, but they were about the same, with the A10 being just marginally better. So let me sum it all up and I'll pick a winner. These are vacuums that I think are designed for hard floors. They're good for pet owners because of the roller design and the large bin. So I would say if you had a relatively small space with all or mostly all hard floors and you're on a budget, I would recommend one of these. I thought the Max version was going to be my pick, but I couldn't get the auto adjustment feature to work during any of these tests. I also thought its medium power, which should have been the optimized setting, was set too low, and I had some other troubles with the cleaner head. So I think the best Onsen cordless vacuum I tested was the EV696 Pro. Its suction settings were optimized. It had incredible battery life. It's the only one that did halfway decent with the carpet deep clean test. It did great with hard floors and hair tangles, and it's the second cheapest on the list. Links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars to keep up with all the latest technology in the vacuum and robot vacuum world. Thanks for watching.